Today we'll recap a 2015 period supernatural horror film named The Witch, written and directed by Robert Eggers. Set in the 1630s, it follows a Puritan family who encounters forces of evil in the woods beyond their New England farm. Kindly remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked the video. The film starts in 1630 in New England, where an English settler William and his family, spouse Catherine, daughter Thomason, child Caleb, and fraternal twins Mercy and Jonas are prohibited from a Puritan province over a religious dispute. They then build a farm near a large, secluded forest. Now we see that Thomason is playing peekaboo with Catherine's newly born baby Samuel. But all of a sudden Samuel disappears from there, which leaves her very shocked. Then we see that somebody is taking Samuel to the forest, after which we see a naked old woman who sacrifices Samuel, and afterward, she makes an ointment from his blood, which she begins applying all over her body, and that lady was a witch, whom we then see fly. Now Caleb comes to William, where William lets him know that they can't look for Samuel any longer. They felt here that a wolf had taken him. Then both of them start going inside the forest to hunt, where they see that no animal was trapped in the trap William had set up, after which they set it up once more. Here Caleb questions whether Samuel's unbaptized soul will arrive at heaven, to which William asks him not to talk about it, on which he begins contending with him. Then William clears up for him that only God knows who will go to heaven, and afterward, he reveals to Caleb that he exchanged Catherine's valued silver cup for hunting supplies. He asks him not to tell anything regarding this to his mom, and only then do they hear their dog foul or barking. They see a bunny there, and as William was going to shoot it, his weapon misfires, harming his eye. Afterward, Mercy was playing when she tells that she is the witch and she attempts to scare Thomason and Caleb. Here she tells that a witch has taken Samuel and she saw her flying in the forest. Now Thomason begins to frighten her and says that she is the witch of the wilderness, and she has signed the Book of Satan. She then threatens her that if she tries to tell her mother about it, she will boil and eat her. Now Mercy gets extremely frightened seeing this and runs off from that point. Later at dinner time, Catherine asks Thomason about the silver cup and tells her that it has been missing for quite a while. She suspects her to be responsible for Samuel's disappearance, to which William says that Thomason did nothing. All of a sudden they hear their goats, at which Catherine asks Thomason to head outside and check. Now when Thomason heads outside, she sees that same rabbit there. Later, Catherine and William were talking around evening time, where they were discussing sending Thomason away to serve another family. But the kids were listening to everything. After this, we see Caleb in the stable where he is planning to head off to some place. However, Thomason comes there and asks him what he is doing. Caleb tells him to go to sleep, but Thomason forces him to take her with him by threatening to awaken their parents. After this, we see them going to the forest where they find a rabbit trapped in the trap. Now they are coming back talking when Fowler starts barking, and they see that the same rabbit is sitting in front of them. Now seeing this, their horse gets into a panic. Fowler gives chase to the rabbit, and Caleb pursues them. The horse throws Thomason, knocking her unconscious, and runs away. Then we see Caleb get lost in the woods when he hears Fowler groaning in pain, and then he finds his disemboweled body. He then discovers a hovel, from which the witch disguised as a beautiful woman emerges to seduce him. She kisses and embraces Caleb, her arm growing old and withered as she caresses his head. On the other hand, William finds Thomason and takes her home, where Catherine asks Thomason why did she take Caleb to the woods? Now before she tells her anything, William says that he has sold his father's cup. He then tells that he had taken Caleb to the forest, so that he could earn some money by selling animal skins. Hearing this, she gets very angry and starts shouting at him. Next, we see Thomason in the stable, just when he hears some noise from outside and discovers Caleb outside the home. Due to delirious and mysteriously ill, then they bring him inside and start treating him. The next day, the twins converse and sing songs with Black Philip, the family's belly goat, and accuse Thomason of witchcraft. Thomason attempts to milk the goat, but she sees that instead of milk blood is coming out, seeing as she gets scared. William later walks in, where Catherine tells him she thinks Caleb is a victim of black magic. But William disagrees and says he will go back to the plantation tomorrow to find a good family for Thomason, and will take Caleb to the doctor. Next, we see that something starts happening to Caleb and he seemed possessed. 
Then suddenly his mouth closes, which William tries to open, and then he vomits up a whole apple with a single bite taken out of it. Now seeing this, the children say that Thomason is a witch and has sold his soul to the devil. Their parents are shocked to hear all this and Thomason tries to convince them. After this, William asks them all to pray for Caleb. But the children say that they are unable to remember their prayers. Then Caleb regains consciousness and starts saying strange things. And the children also start suffering from pain. Now seeing this, their parents get very upset and then they start reading prayers. But after a while, Caleb passionately begins proclaiming his love for Christ and dies. Due to his death, all those people go in a shock and the children were also unconscious. Now Catherine blames Thomason for all this, due to which she leaves there in grief. Then William walks up to her and consoles her, but begins to think that Thomason is really a witch. He says that he saw she stopped the children's prayers and Caleb had disappeared with her and then she found him. Thomason tries to convince him that she is not a witch, but William forces her to tell the truth. Now Thomason says that in reality he and her mother want to get rid of her. She says that he committed the sins and keeps putting all the blame on her, which makes William angry. Now she says why doesn't he ask his twins? Keep talking to that goat all day long. She tells him that the goat is the devil and it has done magic on the farm. William does not believe her words, to which she says that Mercy herself told her that she is the witch of the forest. Now William brings her to the house where he tells her to tell everything to her mother, to which she reveals that Thomason and Mercy talk to the devil in the form of a black goat. After this, William seals the children in the goat house, and he tells Thomason that he will take her to the plantation tomorrow morning. Now Thomason asks the children if they are both witches, to which they ask her if she is. Then she asks if this goat really talks to both of them, on which they do not say anything. Later, Thomason overhears William breaking down and confessing to God that he has been prideful, and that he made his family leave their village out of stubbornness rather than sincere religious devotion. That night we see Catherine who sees Caleb in the house holding Samuel in his arms. She goes up to him and hugs him. He says that he has brought a book for her, will she read with him? Then he hands Samuel to her and she starts breastfeeding him. But it is actually a raven that pecks at her breast. On the other hand, the children awaken to see the witch drinking blood from the nanny goat, which turns to attack the twins. Now the next morning William wakes up and comes out, where he sees that his stable has been destroyed. The goats had been disemboweled and an unconscious Thomason lying nearby with bloodstained hands. Then Thomason regains consciousness and suddenly someone attacks William, and she sees that it is Black Philip. Now William picks up an axe to kill it, but Black Philip attacks him again, causing him to hit a pile of wood and he dies there. Then Thomason goes to check on him, but just then Catherine comes there and begins blaming her for the tragedies that have befallen the family. Thomason tries to convince her that she is her daughter, but Catherine says she is a witch and killed her brothers and father. She also accuses her of seducing William and Caleb. Then she starts assaulting her physically, but Thomason attacks her with a bill hook in self-attack, which injures her face and she dies there. Now on the night Thomason hears chiming, after listening to which she goes towards the stable where Black Philip is standing, and then he goes inside. She follows him inside, where she asks him to talk to her, and then the goat responds with a human voice, asking if she would like to live deliciously, in a life of luxury, and materializes into a tall, black-clad man. He then asks her to take off her clothes, which she does the same, and then he asks her to write her name on a book placed in front of her. After this we see her going towards the forest. She follows Black Philip into the forest noon, where she sees a coven holding a witch's sabbath around a bonfire. She joins them and then she sees witches start levitating, Thomason starts laughing maniacally, and afterward we see her rising over the trees and the film closes here. Thanks for watching.